This is Northern Hero here again, and this is another YouTube exclusive. YouTube.com slash user slash Northern Hero 099. We are talking a little bit about the government cuts. You know, they seem to be going overboard. You know, if you've um, been on the internet or looked in the newspapers in the last few days protesters have been protesting in um, Sheffield um, because of the of Nick Clegg doing a speech um, I don't know about Thursday and Friday but protesters were in Sheffield protesting but um, yesterday Nick Clegg who was the deputy, deputy um, Prime Minister um, he was in Sheffield yesterday there was 1,000 police officers yesterday um, Saturday um, in Sheffield during a Liberal Democrats conference with a, with the Deputy Prime Minister and the leader of the Liberal Democrats, Sheffield MP Nick Clegg. This has cost the government £2 million. Pounds. As there were, you know, loads of protesters. It's probably one of the worst governments ever. You know, they're talking about cut this, cut that. You know, they're really going over the top. At the moment, the Liberal Democrats and the Conservatives are together as the Coalition Government is currently in force. Now, it was getting bad with Labour and with Gordon Brown as leader, but are all politicians liars? You know, the promises this and that, don't they? And yet when they come into power it always seems to be worse. I know we've had recession. I know they think that they're um, trying to help. But how many firms and that have closed over the last four years or so? You know, absolutely loads. And the petrol is going up. But who do we actually vote for next time? They'll seem as bad as each other, don't they? Well, last year was the very first time I voted. And I'm sorry, but it's going to be the last. They're, you know, they're talking about ridiculous cuts such as... You know, the council, um, the binman will only start to come round every two weeks instead of one to cut costs just imagine people with big families the bins are gonna stink awful aren't they and it could cause maggots street lights as well they've talked about being dimmed at 8pm to save millions every year, etc. You know, it's stupid. And obviously, I've just, I mentioned petrol um, going up a bit ago, and it's at its highest ever. It's the first time the petrol cost me over fifty pounds to fill you know, the tank up in the car. £51.78 to be exact. About five years ago it was around £38 to fill up. God, I pray that the petrol will go down in price. Lord God. But then again, to be honest, as a Christian, maybe I shouldn't be worrying 
as worrying is a sin. If we all have our hearts and minds on God, then I believe that God will look after us. But, it's just something to talk about sometimes, isn't it? But then again, the Bible does tell us to pray for our leaders, doesn't it? So, Lord God, I pray for this government. I pray for David Cameron, the Prime Minister, and I pray for Nick Clegg. I pray, Lord God, that they will start to do things well. And I also pray for the people, for the politicians in the government, Lord God. Save their souls, work on their lives, Lord. Turn this government which, you know, they keep talking about more taxes and stuff like that. Um, it's just ridiculous. But, you know, God will look after his believers, I believe. And maybe we shouldn't have to worry about stuff like that. About, you know, the government and stuff. If we are of God, then, really, who can really be against us, to be honest? But, you know, it's just really bad at the moment. You know, recession, government. I'm so happy that I've actually got... I mean, I've got a job, but... You know, people who are unemployed, you know, that's at its highest. Or it might have been... It was last year. It did go a bit down, but I think it's going back up. Um, it's just ridiculous. Also, um, in the past few weeks, I'm talking about something else now. <laughs> Finish with that. Undertaker. <sighs> WWE wrestler has got himself new music. Now, The Undertaker is a very dark character. Mm -hmm. And I was very surprised that his new music features... Um, Former singer um, Johnny Cash. And Johnny Cash was a Christian. He died about. I can't remember exact. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but I think it was about 2002. I haven't been on Wikipedia. Um, but let's um, read. I'm going to go through The Undertaker's. Um, well, Johnny Cash's song. Now, this is really interesting because when it comes down at the aisle, this music plays, which is very surprising to me. Well, not surprising. I believe that God is doing a big work in the world of wrestling. There ain't no grave can hold my body down. There ain't no grave can hold my body down. When I hear that trumpet sound, I'm gonna rise right out of the ground. Ain't no grave can hold my body down. Well, look away down the river. What do you think? I see. I see a band of angels, and they're all coming after me. There ain't no grave can hold my body down. There ain't no grave can hold my body down. Well, look down. Under Gabriel, put, hang on. I'm actually reading this off YouTube. Don't know if they've spelled that word right. Well, look down, Yonder Gabriel. Put your feet on the land and see. But Gabriel, don't you blow your trumpet until you hear from me. There ain't no grave can hold my body down. There ain't no grave can hold my body down.
Well, meet me, Jesus meets me, meets me in the middle of the air. And if these wings don't fail me, I will meet you anywhere. Ain't no grave can hold my body down, ain't no grave that can... I'm not going to keep saying the chorus. Well, meet me, mother and father. Meet me down the river road and mama. You know that I'll be there when I check in my load. Ain't no grave. There ain't no grave. Can hold my body down. You know, it's just really um, interesting that. How um, he's picked that song. Obviously, he might not have picked it, but the guys behind in the WWE may have obviously given him that song that he might have obviously listened to and thought, yeah, I love that track, you know, for me. Little theme music. I don't know, but. Um, is the guy a Christian? Is he playing a dark character? If he was anti Christian or even an atheist or something I really don't believe that I'd have that theme song God is working on wrestlers I've prayed for him in the past and I really believe that maybe The Undertaker could be coming to know the Lord Let, let's just pray right now Lord God I pray in Jesus name for The Undertaker and for the other wrestlers in the WWE, I pray for the Undertaker's soul. Even if he's if he's not a Christian Lord, but I pray right now that that song will touch millions of people's lives. And I pray, Lord, that people will start to wonder about your Lord God. In Jesus' name, Amen. Please pray about that as well, fans. Very interesting indeed. Obviously, in the last um, couple of days, well, Friday wasn't it? Yeah, Friday. You know, if some people did see my um, video which I put on early Saturday morning, um, it was about the earthquake in Japan. Um, Tens of thousands of people are missing, dead. Um, you know, we want to think ourselves lucky. I mean, I live in Great Britain. I mean, we don't get anything like that. We've had one or two little rumbles in the past, but nothing, nothing. Compared to, you know, I really feel sorry for them. Those people... Um, so Lord God I pray for all the people right now in Japan who have been or, or are injured at the moment I pray Lord God that your power will come over Japan I pray Lord that people start to cry out for you um, there's a girl who well, I don't really know her, but I've met her a few times. She's actually doing mission work in um, Thailand. And she wants to go to Japan to help. And that is really encouraging. Um, you know, they say it's going to take Japan about 10 years to rebuild all them towns have been swept away by the sea I mean you know what is the world coming to are we really in the end times just go on Google and just um, Google something like how many earthquakes have we had this year absolutely loads loads I say but the the news they only um, obviously talk about the real big earthquakes, but the, there's actually been 
loads of earthquakes, maybe two or three point magnitude or whatever, or four point mag four point something magnitude. But there's been more earthquakes this year than maybe last year. Up to now. Yeah, so, Lord oh God, we just pray for victims in Japan. And I really believe that if um, people, you know, if they're looking towards another religion, if, if they already believed in something else other than Jesus Christ, and no one mentioned it to them, because apparently Japan, Japan is uh, one of the hardest um, countries in the world to share the gospel. Um, that's what I've heard. So, I mean, obviously there probably is some Japanese Christians, but I really believe that if people were living and they believe in a different religion, and no one's ever told them about God, or the Bible, Jesus, I mean, come on. <laughs> It's not their fault, is it? I really believe that God would reveal himself to them when they die. And then they could make up their own mind. Um, maybe I'm wrong. Look, people have died, gone to hell, and come back. Ian McCormack is a great example. Mm -hmm. He's Australian and he went to Southern Africa on a trip and he died. He was an atheist. He died and God gave him another chance. Only because that his mother, his mother was it, were praying for him. And we need to start praying for people that don't believe in God. Because if they die, maybe they will get a chance, if they don't believe on the earth, that God is real. And God does not want anyone to go to hell. Obviously, there's a lot of people in the world that have made their own decisions to go to hell by following Satan. Mm. You know, there's a lot of Satanists and... Um, um, people in weird cults and that and they've turned their back on God and they're following something else. Really in a way they are searching for something true. Mm. But myself as a believer in God I know that Christianity is real. There might be some dodgy Christians out there some false Christians that are always wanting your money and stuff by manipulating people and that well don't look at people such as them right you do your own searching if you're watching this and if you're not a believer i felt the power of god quite a few times i have had dreams visions from god i felt holy fire from god i felt waves of wind from god and that waves of wind is from the Holy Spirit and I really believe yeah, I do it is that is from God no other faith in God gives you that okay there might be some Christians maybe some of you are watching that's never felt the Holy Spirit that's never felt fire on your mouth or whatever but I have and I believe what I believe in is the truth I'm also going to talk about um, something else now. Um, about ten years ago, I was conned on the internet. That made me, made me extremely paranoid. Nobody knows what that actually did, right? Um, people were hacking into my computer. People wanted to meet me and um, stuff like that off various from various chat sites and whatever so you know that was them I went to 
church and that and, and stuff. Met someone, uh, well, met this guy told me how to um, go on stuff like YouTube and that. And he's a good friend of mine. So, I, you know, the fear went, someone prayed for me at church. Now, I thought to myself lately, you know, am I going on one of these dating sites? I mean, you always hear about stuff in the papers, don't you, that, well, you know, a couple's met on the internet and, and that. Well, so to say, but I went on it, now my computer is safe, I've got firewall, got antivirus, got anti spy bot, and I check it regular. The same thing, it's the similar thing that happened 10 years ago, it still it, uh, has happened again, kind of anyway. But I didn't fall for it because I know people are trying to con me. Um, alas, on one of these dating sites, I gave a message. She replied back, massive email and that. She wanted me email and stuff. Then she was sending me pictures of different girls. And they didn't look nothing like the other photographs from the um, dating site and it's someone trying to call me you might be watching now I will be very very careful if I were you you could go out of your house and something bad could happen a vehicle could crash into you Where would you go to? Where would that person go to? The word hell comes to mind. And if I were you, if you're watching, I would get on your hands and knees and repent before God, even if you are an atheist. So, I'm not falling for any of these dating sites you know I'm not bothering you know it's not a free one you've got to pay and someone now some a person says to me oh they need they need your number then they've got your number landline number if they've got a particular program what they use a devilish program I'm not sick enough to have one of those programs to nosy. In your house, would you allow someone to come in your house and start nosying at your stuff? You know, ooh, he likes um, carrots. Ooh, we're, ooh, can cook up going around your house at nicking stuff and what, whatever I'm going at. No, you wouldn't. You'd probably kill that person, wouldn't you? It's a similar thing with, you know, internet. If people can get through on that and whatever. Well, our phone number's been altered since all that time ago. I've had all fresh new emails and, and whatnot, so why is it trying to happen again? I'm not scared of these individuals. These individuals are evil. Right. Evil. <laughs> but, obviously, they need praying for. And also, on one of my videos, what I did about a year ago, that person who I showed you, I am, um, I really believe that he's involved in it. Paul the Stoker. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail. But, you know, we live in a day and age of evil, deception, <laughs> and it does say in the last days there will be deception, we've got to be very careful. I think that's my rant over. Um,
yeah, there isn't much else to say, but if people could pray about me, and pray about what I've just mentioned, I'll be very thankful.